happy holidays. Today I'm basically doing a day in the life vlog, but today we're gonna be doing a bunch of holiday related things. I need to go shopping today at the mall for some Christmas gifts. I also need to go to Walmart and pick up like some hot cocoa and baking necessities. I really wanna bake something like holiday related later in this video, get like a Starbucks drink. And then I also just have some random like errands I need to do, like go to the post office, go to the donation center, drop off some clothes over there in those trash bags. But yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy these types of videos and if you do make sure to give it a thumbs up and then subscribe my channel if you want to i would really really appreciate it and let's get on into it here's like a little fit check of the day i'm first off just wearing this really cute white sweater i actually thrifted this and then i'm wearing these blue jeans from the brand girlfriend i'm pretty sure and i just plan to wear my air forces with this and then this little puffer vest which is from glassons i don't know kind of basic but just like an everyday cute kind of outfit also i apologize if you can see all of these packages it looks so bad all those packages but i did some damage on cyber monday and black friday i promise you guys a huge clothing haul is coming soon also i don't know if you guys noticed i decorated for christmas as you can see i also have my little tree up and then just some little decorations here and there that fell we need to fix that do not look but if you guys want to see a decorating for christmas video i already did that and i dedicated a whole entire video of just decorating my room and i highly recommend you go watch it it'll be in the eye right now and then also in the description box but i definitely want to do like the baking hot chocolate cute pajamas type of deal trying to like live that Pinterest holiday aesthetic in real life. I don't know. But yes, let's get going. the gas station and then I also went to Starbucks but now we're heading to the donation center where I'm gonna donate some of those clothes that you guys saw I did get a caramel brulee latte which is one of the holiday drinks but I got it iced they gave me like the iced drink and then they asked me if I wanted whipped cream on it and I normally get non-dairy right and I said yes when I meant to say no but that was like obviously my fault because I don't know why I just said yes to the whipped cream when I normally don't get whipped cream on it but I forgot that they put the fun little sprinkles on it look how cute and so I'm actually kind of glad I have the little the whipped cream and then I also got like an egg breakfast sandwich and I'm gonna do some browsing and Christmas shopping. I'm hoping I can get some stuff while I'm here, but let's just hope for inspiration of some sort. Yeah. Hi guys. Say hi, Scarlett. It's only 5.30. I literally hate how the sun sets so early because it makes me so tired and I don't want to go out because I've just been exhausted all day. I also just have like homework and just a bunch of work to do anyways, so I might try to do that. I have a lot of studying I have to do. My finals are this weekend, although we'll see. Maybe in a little bit I'll want to go out and get the stuff and bake tonight, but as of right now I'm just kind of feeling lazy, which is okay. We have tomorrow. Hey guys, it is now the next day. I did not have enough energy to go to Walmart and do all the baking yesterday just because I was really, really tired. But we're gonna go to Walmart, pick up a few baking items and just a little bit of some other stuff. I have like just random groceries I also need to get. I just need to get a few things like cute sprinkles, some Hershey Kisses, marshmallows. I also wanna find like a cute mug to make hot chocolate in. I don't have like a cute Christmas mug and I will see you guys there. While we're at Walmart, I want to announce that Dossier just launched in all Walmart stores, as you guys can see. I also want to thank them for partnering with me on this video. Dossier has been my go-to perfume brand, offering affordable perfumes starting at $39. While designer scents can reach up to over $250 in retail, their bestseller Floral Marshmallow has been my favorite recently, and it's inspired by Keylon's Love Don't Be Shy perfume with a retail price of $240, but you can get the impression for only $39 at Dossier. Dossier also offers free exchanges and returns forever and offers great deals on their website with up to 25% off and free shipping for three or more bottles. They're also constantly adding new scents and love customer feedback and loves to take that into suggestions for future releases. Five of their top sellers are in store and you can find the whole collection on Dossier.co or Walmart.com. If you want to try Dossier, use my discount code for 10% off and they also have a welcome offer for 20% off which means you can get up to 30% off on your first order. Everything's in the description box down below and I highly recommend go checking them out if you want to explore some really nice affordable scents with no strings attached. Now back to the shopping. 
Okay guys, I'm back from Walmart and I'm gonna show you guys what I got. First off, I got marshmallows because when I bake the cookies, which you'll see in a moment, I want to make some hot chocolate. And I also want some marshmallows to put on my hot chocolate. I already have cocoa mix, so we just needed marshmallows. And then instead of buying like the ingredients, because normally I follow a recipe and make something from scratch, but I'm kind of lazy in this video. And it was very tempting because Walmart was selling these things, which are like baking sets. There were so many different types of these. I highly recommend you go check them out. I decided to just pick these two, which is a holiday treat meringue kit. And apparently it comes with like everything. All what you need is like your basic stuff, like egg whites and parchment paper. And then also I got these little gingerbread men brownie kits. I only need like vegetable oil, water, eggs. I hope they look cute. I'm hoping it's not one of those things where you buy the box and it's like impossible to make it look like the photo. I'm gonna try my best to make them look like the pictures. But I'm glad I found those because I was originally going to make these cookies, which look really cute. They're like little candy cane ones, but they're completely by scratch. And I would have had to buy like so many different types of things for them. So thankfully I found like the little easy bake things. This kind of reminds me of those like, actually, I don't know what it reminds me of. I don't know where I was going with that. Anyways, let's go to the kitchen. We're in my kitchen and I think first we're gonna make the gingerbread man one. This one, I have to whip the egg whites with this with a mixer. I actually don't have one, I broke mine. I don't wanna really mix egg whites by hand until they get really fluffy. If you know, you know it takes a while. So I think we're just gonna do this one because it's a simple mix and then you just decorate them. So it should be easy. <laughs> easier than it actually looked. Based off of the instructions, I basically just whipped this all together and then it told me to line the pan with parchment paper, kind of what I'm doing. And then you're gonna bake this and then cut it out like with this thing afterwards. And it's supposed to make eight. I really don't think it's gonna make eight. But yeah, we're gonna bake this for like 30 minutes and I'll get back to you guys after. Here's what the brownie looks like. I put a knife in it just to make sure that it's cooked all the way through. And now I think I'm gonna lift this up out of the pan and then lay it out on a cutting board and then cut the little gingerbread men. I just flattened the whole entire brownie into like this really thin layer and I think this is gonna work a whole lot better. Here's what the two look like. It looks so bad. I think it's because my brownies were too thick. But the thing is, I used the right pan dimensions based off of the instructions and I think the instructions should have called for a larger pan. This is looking a little bit more promising. <laughs> So I just finished rolling out all of the gingerbread men. There's actually 11 of them and this package only says it makes eight of them. But I think my method was probably the best way to go with this. As you guys saw, they were initially way too like thick. I couldn't even get the full cookie cutter to go through. So what I ended up doing was just crushing all of the brownie stuff into a ball and then rolling it out in between the parchment paper until it was like a flat surface. And then I would cut out some of them. And then I would do it again, like ball it up again, roll it out again, cut it out until I kind of just ran out of dough. You can see like it's kind of mixed in, but honestly, Honestly, that doesn't really bother me since we will be like putting frosting on them. I think it's time to decorate. I'm so excited. There's so many of them, which I'm hyped about because I was only supposed to get eight, but now we have 11. everything I filmed in this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to check out Dossier and use my discount code. You can also get up to 30% off your first order by using the welcome code and discount code together. Follow me on Instagram at CaitlinDewey underscore and subscribe to my channel if you want to. Also comment below this emoji if you stayed up all the way to the end. Love you guys. Bye!